do you hear that? The screams of pain, the moans of fear, the roars of terror. They are the sounds of evil lurking around us. You are not safe from what is coming. They are close. They are next to you. You are in a world where safety doesn't exist. Welcome to the Feast of Screams. Try not to die. Hello everybody, welcome back to Corpse Party. And uh, now we start chapter 3. Last time we found out where that big, uh, mushy, bloody pile of what's it came from in chapter 1. And Miss Yoe is, a po is apparently still alive, which I was totally thinking she was dead. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, oh yeah, I guess continue? Load chapter 3. All right, no. Maybe I'm still really confused on how this freaking works. So I guess we continue. View chapter three opening. Yes, Let's view the opening. See what's going on. Let's see what we got this time. So we got Mitsuki. I can't take much more of this. What's wrong with the school? Who the hell was that? And why is he here? If we got hit with a hammer like that, we'd be goners. Where's Kurosaki? Okay, so... Alright. Uh, Fuku... Fukuroi? Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into any... We'll run into him any minute now, I'm sure of it. So two new characters that we have absolutely no idea who they are because I was too lazy to go into the details. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to be die like that. You saw it too, right? Emmy's body, her head, her head was split wide open. Ooh. Whoa, that's a flashback. Okay. It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it, please. Damn it. Where did everybody go? What? Look. Fukuroi, look. The hallway. What the hell? It, it can't be. The corridor, it, it grew. What is... No, no, it's the other way. Look, down the hall. B, five, four, four, oh, my god, a hammer going to stick it in your bum. Something, Zach, like, something's coming. What? Why can I not see what's going on? Well, that's... That's a sh reassuring. Are y'all gonna die? Ugh. Someone's getting hammered. From the sounds of it. Perhaps the guy that we're hearing is the guy that got... what's his name? I'm bad with names. Whoa, this is new. We're outside. Kind of. going on
What the hell is going on? I'm completely lost. Good thing I started this thing. I have no freaking clue what's going on. Uh. Oh, it's the girl with no head. Give me back my head. And now she's dead, right? <laughs> I have a feeling I know who this is. Only from pictures. Nope, oh, it's Naomi? Hello? Maybe that's her mom? It is her mom. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Emma, please, just let me hear your voice. Please, just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. Wait a minute, wasn't her mom dead? Yeah, we get it. You need help. Isn't she supposed to be dead, though? Oh, wait. No, she's not the one who's dead. My bad. I'm... I'm, I'm just, damn it. <laughs> Brain bad. She's the one who died. Seiko. I don't understand. You said we make it out of here together. Why would you kill yourself? What happened? What did you see? It really is a pity. Oh, it's her. Who are you? I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? The curse that holds the school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to great lengths to prevent it, even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. So like her, she like yelled and snapped at her friend even though she didn't mean it. That's horrible. Now that your friend has passed away, the school, the space, is yours alone. You are its only living occupant. No. You will be all by yourself from here on out until the day you die. Well, geez, thanks for the words of encouragement. My cell phone does have Seiko's number stored in it, and everybody else's too. Ouch. Oh, even more ouchies. Ah. 
God, it hurts. That sound, that was my leg. Oh no, is it broke? Ooh. Pull yourself together, you're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like you. Oh, what the hell? What? Is she hearing voices in her head or something? I'm, I'm not tough at all. Seiko. Seiko. I love you so much, Seiko. I can't take her anymore. Does somebody please help me? Oh, I hate seeing girls cry. Even pixelated ones. Oh, she's crying for a mommy. And Satoshi. Chapter 3 The Awakening. Er, sorry. I was trying to make something scary, bro. There's Satoshi. Hey, isn't Yuka his sister? So... What? Oh, it's okay, she cries. I'd give her hugs. I sense that other, pe other corporeal beings such as yourselves were brought here as well. Nine in total, nine poor souls pulled in at once. That would be me and Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinazaki, Miss Yoe, Shinohara, Shizumoto, and Mor oh God. <laughs> Morish. Oh, I can't pronounce it. In other words, everybody in the room at the time. Damn it! So everybody else is in the school too? Yeah. Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they are indeed all in the school, but it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. If you should attempt to defy the will of the school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath, and that's a fate best avoided. <clears throat> we have to try. We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Oni-chan! So brave. They're all such good people. They've done nothing to deserve this. Wow, look who's grown some balls. And I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous... Oh, it's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better, even if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. What is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? Anyway, we should try to find Miss Yue and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home too. If we come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. 
There must be an entrance way, or an emergency exit, or roof access, or something that leads outside. And if so, you're to go straight home. No buts. Capiche? Okay. Look who's got some big balls now. Look who's got some big balls now. Let's go back in here. Check out this door here. Door behind the shelf, but it seems to be exist purely for show. Again. Do not read the name tag, or not name tags. Do not read the crumpled up notes. Nothing here worth checking out. Can't go that way. So I guess the game's pretty. So this must be before everybody else. Hi, I like your hair. A child spirit? That red dress looked pretty old fashioned. <laughs> Uni chan. It's okay, she's gone now. We'll be fine. <laughs> Continue. Well, in here? To this dark room. And I hear that sound. Oh god, here we go. Oh, you've heard her. You've heard her. Oh, okay, I see what happened. He must have squeezed her hand too hard. Oh, watch it. Don't fall off the edge. Yuka! Mirena! Don't look. It's not a prop or anything. It's a real bot. It's a real dead body. This is really happening, isn't it? But whose body? A dead body. An actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are all of us going to die here? Big brother! Yuka, Yuka it, it's okay. Come on, Yuka. We're leaving this room. Examine it. This corpse sprawled out on the ground to come to decomposition uh, a message had been painstakingly carved into the floor oh, okay. yeah oh wait oh god I screwed up kill me please 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 can't take anymore can't take anymore can't take anymore let me out whoa shit and we got a candle where we can save now yes save 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 save, save. Done. Here's another one. There's a corpse sprawled out on the ground, clutching a letter in his hand. The letter reads as follows Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I no longer have the energy to move and I'm desperately thirsty. My tongue started swelling up like a sponge and it keeps cutting off my air. I'd find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right about now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hi Hiroko Mo Monomura from Amazaki West High, Class 2-4. Okay. Continue. Ah, well, we made it over there. And to a dead end. Victim Memoirs 1 of 5. Otaki Mitsuharu. I want to see you again, a ghost told me. Apparently you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen? Excuse me. Oh God! It's like every time I do this, I yawn. Why did it, why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in the, my math class at prep school. 
my sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd be leave this excuse even if I told her though. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you, and I'm going to find it. Alright, well, since we can't go that way, we have no choice but to go back. Hmm, let's look in this real quick. Shelf cram full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with usual titles. The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. Book of Beetle Wings. Huh. Ugh, I hate that sound. Yuga. Yuga? Big brother. Will we ever be able to go home again? Or are we really stuck here until we di die? Itchy, 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 itchy. It's not true, right, big brother? Right? We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuka. All of us, together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you've got me, right? Uh-huh. That's a good girl. Big brother! <laughs> Nerves got to bury you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation and show Yuka there's nothing to be afraid of. I gotta have the big brass balls now. Somewhere here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. We need to find her as soon as we can. Something tells me he has a thing for Naomi, too. It's kind of like... Like... Like Amy and Sonic and Sonic Boom. They like, they both really like each other, but they're too scared to show it. Alright, so now we need to find, I guess, a board to try to get through. What's in this? This is a uh, rusted bucket of ground, it's empty. Oh, wow. That's surprising. Usually it's got some sort of like meat chunks or, or yellow stuff in it. Is it just me or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. What? Wait, what board? Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. Oh, now I see it. Okay, so now we send one person out. Or, you know, we go do this. Ah, I see where it is now. So I stand here. Yuka. Hey, Yuka, can you wait here just a second? Uh, big brother, no, don't leave me. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come right back, you promise? You bet. Alright, I know exactly where it's gonna be. I think. Hate having short memory. Yes, I do know where it is. Yuka, Yuka can you grab the board? Uh-huh, I got it. Yes, we got it. Oh, wow, we got it on the first try. Awesome. Nicely done. I say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh, she's so adorable. She looks like she looks like my family member, Rebecca, who I actually recommended this game. Wait a second, big brother. Huh? What's up? Rebecca, if you're watching this, you should change your profile picture to a cute picture of her. At least for a day. Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Our pirate man with red eye. Oh, there are sure a lot of them in here. Give it a sniff. 
Hey, caramel. That smells really good. Isn't neat? She probably spent her allowance at the stationery shop in town again. See, caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. Oh, flavor? This place frightened. This place frightened you? Don't worry, I'll be all right. You should hang on to you yourself. Um, but I really don't mind. You take it. Hmm. I just. I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. Aww. You're a scatterbrain. <laughs> you always get freaked out so easily, and it really scares me. Aww. I'm a bit of a scatterbrain, too. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. I'll take it. Alright, I guess I can borrow it for a little while. Thanks. Take good care of it, okay? Caramel flavor will keep you safe, but that's not all. Wanna know what else it does? It's a secret. What do you mean by that? If I tell you, you get all bothered, so I'm not gonna. Well, then why'd you even bring it up? Something that wouldn't bother me? More than calling me a scatterbrain? Uh. Received scented beads. Okay, now. We'll end it here. We'll save. And quit. We got the scented beads. We move on to the next part. Anyway, see you guys next time. Laters. Oh, and happy Halloween.